gentlemen, I am Nashpreet and I'm going to be your host today. On behalf of Mercedes-Benz, I extend a warm welcome to you all to the annual press conference. Now today we are here in this uh, very cold Delhi weather to celebrate a big moment for Mercedes-Benz India. This iconic three-pointed star has much to celebrate today, as you will find out very soon. What's more, there is a brand new car we will be starting the new year with. The new GLS is, as they say, committed to greatness and the right top-end vehicle to start the year with. But before that, there are many exciting uh, announcements on the corporate front, and I am told that you will be addressed by all six members of Mercedes-Benz leadership team. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let me invite Santosh Ayer, MD and CEO of Mercedes-Benz India, to address you all. Santosh. Well, thank you, Nashpreet. Uh, Good afternoon, friends. At the onset, let me wish you all a very happy new year. New year signifies new beginnings for us at Mercedes-Benz India as well, and this year has begun on a phenomenal note. I will come to that in a while. 2023 is also a special year for me personally. As uh, you know, it, it is the first year for me at the helm of affairs as the MD and CEO to lead this fantastic brand in India. And it's been nothing short of exciting and, of course, rewarding. I owe this to the fantastic team I have back home and, of course, to my entire colleagues, the leadership team, who is also there with you today uh, to address and also share with you our plans for 2024. In 2024, again, another milestone, we celebrate 30 years in India. That is three decades of making in India and for India. It's a very special milestone for all of us, and many of you here in this audience has been part of this incredible journey, some of you even right from the start. Some of you will also remember uh, that our humble beginnings, you know, uh, in, in the Tata Motors facility uh, in 1994. And of course, that set a precedence, and today, this facility is home to some other luxury car manufacturer here. This is our latest one. I think this is a Tata Motors facility that we have. Uh, of course, uh, we, this is where it all started. And of course, most of you have been now. In 2009, we moved to this new facility in Chakan, Pune. Most of you have visited here. And incidentally, I also joined Mercedes-Benz India in 2009. So both the facility as well as myself, we complete 15 years. Uh, and as they say, the rest is history. This very facility has also many laurels to its credit. And now I would like to call for a very short video to take you through a journey of three decades in India. Can we have the video, please?
Well, thank you. So the very first car that was rolled out of this facility, which I showed earlier, was the W124, the E-Class. This iconic car symbolizes luxury for India, and we have one such car from the very first lot of production that we made. This car belongs to Mr. Shivdat Halde. He's in Mumbai. He works for HSBC. And he has ensured the car is kept in pristine condition. And he loves the car. He has maintained the car for many years. My leadership team has the privilege of driving this car into the stage today just to share with you how we'll all begin. So let's all welcome a bit of nostalgia. Let's welcome the W124 here on stage, please. give the photographers on the left some good pictures as well. And now you can look to the right. Thank you. Thank you to our leadership team. I request you all to take a seat in the audience. Requesting Santosh and Murli to please stay back on stage. Santosh, it's over to you. Well, thanks, uh, Nashpeet. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends, all my colleagues here symbolize success for Mercedes-Benz India. Murli and Shekhar has been with the company for the last 30 years, and for sure he will tell his own story a bit while. 
Venkatesh has also been part of Mercedes-Benz for the last 15 years, started the journey with MBRDI in Bangalore, and uh, even before joining us. Evren has spent two decades with Mercedes-Benz. She was in Turkey before joining us as a CFO, and Lance, which many of you know already, true blue Mercedes-Benz fan from New Zealand, all the way enjoying his time in India with the three-pointed star. All I can say is, all of us, we keep saying, we can take the bullet for the star, highly passionate, uh, I would now request my colleague Murli to take us through his three-decade long journey. Murli, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Santosh. Thank you very much. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the, my esteemed and eminent friends assembled here for this event. It's indeed a very nostalgic moment for me and my colleague, Shaker, while we were driving this car out from, from behind. This is the car which we built way back in March 25, March 95. In 95, when, as an young en engineer, when I stepped into Mercedes-Benz India, little did I know that this would be, this would culminate into a three-decade long journey with this iconic three-pointed star. This is how I looked in those days. I joined two quarters after the rollout of this very first E-Class, and in those days, we were located within telco premises. I still remember vividly my first day in the organization. After my interview was over, on my request, I could get a chance to walk through the shop floor, and this experience remained with me always. I witnessed the cleanest floor, as clean as an operation theater in an hospital. And that was the precedence I determined to continue. While I started my journey from the mechanical line, we had German colleagues who were handholding us, teaching us to build the car in a technical precision and good quality. Also, we were creating good work culture which remained with us. Today, I can proudly mention that we have helped our security network worldwide, training their members, both blue collars and white collars. Whenever needed, we had some of our colleagues who have even traveled to these plants to support them and resolve technical issues. I had an opportunity to move various departments, including, st including a stint in sales. This helped me to understand the various facets of business, and the entire customer journey, right from planning the infrastructure to producing these cars and to the subsequent customer experience. The most memorable moment in my career out of the many were the setting up of this plant and the inauguration of the Mercedes-Benz facility in Chakan. Today, as I reflect back on the past years, I feel very proud and elated to be a part of this iconic brand, which continues, which invented automobiles and continues to define luxury in the Indian market. We started with one product in 95, then expanded to two products by 2000, and today we have 14 products rolling out from our production lines. We are proud to be the first market outside Germany to start production of the iconic uh, brand, the Mercedes Maybach. We are equally proud to achieve the distinction of being the first market in the CKD world to produce the most luxurious EV, the EQS 580. My heartfelt gratitude to all the customers and well wishes like you. Your support means a lot for back at home for all the employees who build these lovely cars, handcrafted cars, and you all love so much. It has been an immensely rewarding journey of 30 years, very well supported by my team and my family. Thank you very much. And may I now request Santosh back on the stage, please? Thanks a lot, Murli. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's a story of passion uh, uh, thanks for sharing a personal story with all of us. Frankly, thank you. Uh, frankly, Murli is a prime example 
of the passion we groom within Mercedes-Benz India, which ensures that we are able to live up to customer expectations. Maybe we give a bit of time, Jamshid, uh, to get the car. Maybe Shekhar is coming to help him or... Uh, <laughs> so it was uh, just for information to the press these cars have a parking brake which you have to again doubly press Maybe uh, a colleague of mine was not aware, and that's why, uh, you know, it has to be disengaged. This is, again, different technology from that point of era and that point of time. Anyways, coming back, I am sure uh, some of you are now looking into this slide and saying, are we going to launch this car? And why is the price mentioned here? I still thought it's important to understand the trivia. The, tri the, the, the story is this car in 1995, when we introduced in the Indian car market, it was valued at 19 lakhs. X showroom. Today, when I was in Bombay for the classic car rally and I asked a couple of them because we could see a couple of 124s there and they said the price in the market is 90 to 20, 22 lakhs for the same car. So 30 years later, Mercedes-Benz cars can appreciate and goes with the famous saying that Mercedes-Benz never loses its value. What a proud feeling for me as well as for I am sure Shaker, Murli and many others who actually were instrumental in manufacturing this outstanding priceless machine. So, for three decades, uh, you know, this feeling is enjoyed by more than 1,85,000 customers across India in our Mercedes-Benz family. They are the center of what we do, and their love for the brand is our inspiration to, on each day to ensure that the star shines brightly in India. Over the years, uh, we have also consistently reiterated our commitment it's not only us, but also we have our own sister organization in Bangalore. It's the Mercedes-Benz Research and Development Center. 10,000 plus people working there. It's the brain behind many of the cutting edge innovations that you see in Mercedes-Benz cars worldwide. Also to support them, we have our non-banking financial subsidiary, the Mercedes-Benz Financial. They play a very important role in bringing customers, offering unique products, unique financial solutions which no other bank can offer in India. And I'm happy to share that they today manage a portfolio of more than 800 million euros in the Indian car market. While these factors are enablers in India globally, I'm also proud to share that Mercedes-Benz remains the most valuable luxury automobile brand in the world. This is done by none other than Interbrand uh, in their global brand study. The brand is valued at $61.4 billion dollars which frankly is not surprised because this value keeps growing year on year basis. Let's come closer home, let's come to India. And here, I'm proud to say here that we achieved the best ever results by delivering 17,408 Mercedes-Benz cars to our customers. We also registered a growth of 10% versus 2022. It's a double digit growth as we are promised to the market. It's a historic moment for us in India. And I'm really grateful to customers our franchisee partners, some of them are here today, and also my colleagues for making this possible. <laughs> Further, the battery electric vehicles also witnessed 3x growth in calendar year 2023 due to the introduction of new cars in our portfolio like the EQE SUV. Our EVs today comprise more than 4% of our sales and we see a gradual increase in the EV adoption among our customers. At the same time, we need to be realistic. Adoption of electric cars is a marathon and not a sprint, and we have to be committed for a long-term sustainable future. Our portfolio also witnessed a sharp increase in SUV body styles. Our sedans today stand at 45%. The SUVs are today at 55% in terms of body styles in our portfolio. This is also the resultant of a strong product launch. Many of you knew that we launched the new GLC mid of the year, and that's what drove more SUV adoption and increasing it up to 55%. These changes are also an indication of what's happening in India. There is an evolving customer profile. The demographics are changing. Today, 12 to 14% of customers come from salaried background. This is up 20% compared to pre-COVID times. Women today comprise 15% of the total customers. Again, up 50% compared to COVID times, pre-COVID times, I would say. 
we also see an emergence of mini metros you know they we see them as our future growth engines and the average age of customers even in the top end segment like an s class or a gls today is just 38 years a lot of aspiration for the young achievers to straight away get into the top end segment of luxury an important catalyst in all of this has also been as i said earlier mercedes benz financial in the last five years, we have seen a 50% increase in the ticket size. Today, this stands at 60 lakh rupees average credit for every car that's being purchased via Mercedes-Benz Financial. Also, Star Agility, if you see today, this is a very unique product wherein the customer just pays part EMI for the car and the balance is guaranteed as a resale value. Here, we see a very strong growth, 63% growth in such a product in the Indian car market. So, I think... Uh, 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 the, uh, the financial services really helps customers to fulfill their aspirations to own the three-pointed star. Well, all of this put together has really ensured, reaffirmed that we are the number one luxury car brand, just not in sales volume, but in many other areas. Today, we have the largest base of uh, Mercedes-Benz customers, the largest connected car base in India, more than 80,000 connected cars, the well, biggest portfolio 24 hour cars that we offer to the Indian car market, the largest luxury OEM back charging infrastructure, 140 chargers, many of them high speed charging network, and of course, the largest retail network for a luxury brand, more than 125 touch points. All I can say is thank you, India. Thank you for your passion for the three pointed star and making Mercedes Benz India as the most desirable brand in this market. Now, let me take you through the roadmap for 24. And as a brand, many of you know we are restless and we believe in the long-term potential for the Indian market. Last year, I introduced uh, around the same time in Jan our strategy. And as they say, strategy doesn't change year on year. We have six pillars in the strategy. Uh, think, focus, expand, uh, embrace, uh, lead in electric, and of course, improve the supply chain and also look at people as such. And these pillars continue to remain, but the core is how do we execute? How do we accelerate the execution? And for this, even uh, the, the entire board is committed for the Indian car market. Last 12 months, I had the entire leadership team, uh, many board members coming to India, uh, both, uh, you know, uh, they, 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 they are here to strengthen their commitment. And also, we were one of the fastest growing markets in the world for Mercedes-Benz and we are climbing places. So I think the, that, that's a big statement. And if you now go forward, we have said, how do we now accelerate? So to propel this growth, we are working on creating a transformation, equal emphasis on people and the business side. We will continue to redefine future of mobility in the digital age with our motto of desire to exceed. This is our motto for 2024. We strive to exceed in customer experiences, service offerings, product innovations, and also, of course, continue to drive sustainability. There's a lot of areas, as you see in this chart, that we aim to exceed, starting with, of course, being the most desirable brand to ensuring we exceed customer experiences, their expectations from us, the top end vehicle penetration, EV adoption in this market, also when it comes to manufacturing excellence as well as quality. On the other side, we are also looking at developing leadership talent. We are looking at inspiring people working with us. We are looking at community development, social development, and of course, not last, last not the least, also sustainability. Coming to cars, products are what stimulates the market, and therefore, in 2024, we are committed to launch 12 new plus new products in this market. We will intensify the product offerings that we offer to India, Further, in many of these 12 car lines, you will also, you, some of you can easily guess which car, when, but uh, let me assure you, we have some surprises up our sleeves, and we will keep 2024 engaged with many of you here. Also, as I mentioned in my strategy slide, the, the, the focus is in growth of the top-end vehicle segment, and the priority for us is to continue this focus. It shapes the brand. It also caters to the trendsetter in the market. Therefore, more than 50% of our 12 new car launches will be there in the top end vehicle segment. Moving on, also when you talk about electric, uh, we are fully keeping up with our sustainability commitment. You can expect three new EVs coming from our portfolio, global portfolio to India. 
more options for customers should surely drive better adoption for EVs in India. Well, while that's all about the product offensive, let me now invite the man behind the manufacturing of some of these magnificent machines in the plant that you saw in Pune Chakan. Venkatesh, over to you. Thank you, Santosh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. At onset, I wish you a very happy new year. While we have some exciting cars coming in year 2024, let me tell you about manufacturing world, which truly brings all these dreams into the reality. Before we delve into 2024, I want to bring your attention to distinct achievements and benchmarks set by Mercedes-Benz in India. Number one signifies pioneering means Mercedes. We are the first luxury automotive manufacturer to enter in India. We have largest made in India car portfolio. We produce 14 cars out of our check and facility. We are the first brand to launch locally made Bharat stage six compliant car in India. We are first one to start electrification journey in luxury car and launch our first luxury electric car fully manufactured EQS 580 formatic. With so many distinctive achievements under our belt, it comes as no surprise as Santosh presented best ever sales. I am very proud to say that we have a best ever production in 2023. We achieved our highly month, we achieved our best ever in monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and annually in 2023. On top of it, 2023 also witnessed highest ever production of SUVs supporting our customer needs. We also boast on flexibility of us, our assembly lines. It can manufacture series car lines all the way up to the performance AMG models, both with ICE as well as electric drivetrain under one roof. 2023 saw important product launches, right from a sedan to GLA to GLC, which is our, uh, which is our flagship product. The success of GLC, new GLC, testaments its progress. And we today very proudly say that not only in India, but wherever there is a need, the Mercedes-Benz India also contributes to global fle flexibility across the continents. We call the Mercedes-Benz India Chakan plant as a plant of future. As this plant of future, we are actively introducing novel technologies, intensifying our digitalization, as well as ensuring that we implement everything in the plant to ensure top quality with the global standards are available for our customers here. Robotic stud welding, automatic punching cells, to name a few, not only increases the technological quotient here, but also increases the overall manufacturing ecosystem of India. On the right, you can see how Mercedes-Benz India facility showcase the resilient operations in the face of multiple supply chain regulatory challenges here. For us, agility, innovation, technology are the key pillars of the manufacturing. And sustainability is in center of it all. Media friends, as I have told you last time, Mercedes-Benz India Chakan plant we are 100% carbon neutral already since last year. Today, I'm very happy to announce that we have a plan to double the solar capacity of our plant in 2024. We have already achieved the industry benchmark biodiversity index of 1.45 1. 1. in 2023. Towards circular economy, 25 metric ton of hazardous waste recycle in 2023. We have a plan to triple the recycling of the West in 2024. We are intensifying our contributions to the sustainability like never before. You will be happy to know from where our battery comes. We all know that we have, a, we have in Kuppenheim our battery recycling plant. This plant is capable to recycle our batteries at a rate of 96%. This is how we can use our old batteries today as a mine for our future battery. The, on looking at the sustainability contributions, we will, 
continue to enhance our manufacturing facilities. To top it up, I today, very happy to announce that in 2020, investment of 200 crores in this facility. This investment will go towards enhancement of our facilities, introduction of new technologies, digitalization of processes, and all these to bring the new products to satisfy our customer needs. Now that you have seen the new cars, our performance in the year, also felt a little bit about the manufacturing world, let me invite my colleague Shekhar to tell more about how we are bringing these dream machines closer to our customers. May I request Shekhar to please join me on the stage here. Thank you, Venkatesh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to start this year by addressing you. You all know that Mercedes-Benz is synonymous with customer centricity. And we at Customer Services endeavor to uphold this sentiment. Mercedes-Benz already has largest footprint in India. From Ludhiana to Trivandrum, Rajkot to Guwahati, Wherever our customers are, we are everywhere. However, our endeavor to maximize customer convenience is the driving force for our retail network expansion plans. I am happy to inform you that with thorough planning, we have ensured that no matter the location of our customer, the nearest Mercedes-Benz service facility will not be more than two hours of journey for him or her. For that, in 2024, we will inaugurate 20 new workshops across India. We will also expand our retail presence to 10 new mini-metros from Kotayam to Amritsar, from Valsad to Ranchi, Patna. Our global retail network standard, MAR20X, has, along with our new direct-to-consumer sales model, redefined customer experience in the Indian luxury car market. In 2024, we will expand MAR20X to 25 additional facilities for better customer experience. And all of these new facilities, I'm happy to share, will be powered by sustainable green energy. Now, before I make my next announcement, I want to highlight how over the years, Mercedes-Benz has prioritized customer safety with a host of ADAS features. The active brake assist is an important feature in our cars, which prioritizes driver safety in times of unexpected collision. Now, customers will very soon get a choice to decide and save their preferred active brake assist setting in select models and model years to their vehicle. We urge, however, all the customers to pay extreme caution when the option... Similarly, another option, music sound attenuation. While giving speed alerts, it was designed as an extra safety feature to alert customers. However, based on the feedback from Indian customers, we have ensured that there is audible alarm existing. However, the music volume will not get disturbed. Media volume attenuation customization option can be availed by our customers of select models during their upcoming workshop visit. These steps we have been taking to maximize customer convenience. Ladies and gentlemen, now that you have heard about our plans on cars, manufacturing and how we are coming closer to our customers, I would like to invite Evren, my colleague, to address an important topic, people and community. Evren. Thank you, Shekhar. Thank you. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to address all of you here today. 
while cars, manufacturing, and retail network are the foundation of our business, they are all driven by one common factor, our people. Today, I'm here to talk about Mercedes-Benz India's role in providing development for our people, as well as our contribution to the society. Many studies have showcased how diversity has a positive impact on revenue growth, inspires and increases the talent pool. Over the past few years, we have walked the talk in this department. Today, Mercedes-Benz India has steadily progressed towards our ambition to be a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive workplace. Or our first step was to ensure that 50% of all new hires are women in our company. And this transits from shop floor to the top office. And we have also set solid enablers in place with hybrid, hybrid work culture, industry-based maternity policies, as well as on-site crash services. Another import fa important factor is, of course, uh, to have a diverse age group, right? Gender is one part of the inclusive spectrum, and having a diverse age group is the other important facet. A combination of experienced innovation, along with the opportunity to work for India's most desirable luxury car brand, we are also providing an opportunity for our young talents to experience a state-of-the-art workplace. From tailored healthy canteen menus to a quaint cafe arena and a modern collaborative workspace, the Mercedes-Benz India plant has revamped to offer the best of luxury also to our employees. Sound education is the foundation for building a modern society in making a strong nation. Our focus on women development is not limited to our plant premises, but also extends to the surrounding community. I am so happy to share with you that we will be educating 4,000 girls in 2025 with two projects. The first is the Green Transformation Project. Last year, we rolled out the Green School Transformation Project with U Unstoppable, aimed at offering quality educational facilities across three girls' schools in Pune. I personally had also the chance to visit all these three facilities, and the sheer enthusiasm of the young girls towards education as well as environment was very inspiring. And the second project that we have is the Berta Benz project. While schools are an apt place to start, I am very proud to announce that we recently launched the Berta Benz Scholarship. This is implemented through Lila Punawala Foundation and Human Capital for Third Sector. Berta Benz is a special woman. She is a woman of action and an early symbol of woman empowerment. She undertook the famous first automobile journey in the world. And this scholarship in her name represents more than just financial support for education. They manifest our education to uh, bring down barriers and create new opportunities for young women to excel in their chosen fields. While that is in India, globally we are also entering the next leg of Mercedes-Benz Fellowship, Be Visioners. We now aim to induct 500 fellows in 2024 and 1,000 fellows in 2025. And the program recently launched their second leg uh, in 35 countries. As you will remember, we held a mentor session for the participants in Pune already, and their commitment to sustainability and scale of innovation is truly inspiring for all of us. 2024 is also action-packed as our social responsibility takes on a significant cause, that of road safety. As we speak, we are in talks with partners to enhance road safety in two ways. The first is we will be taking measures to reduce fatalities on key populous corridors across the country. And the second will be to promote road safety awareness in the young generation with targeted programs and activations. And we will be having announcements on these topics soon. So, but now ladies and gentlemen, coming to the moment you have all been waiting for, the new GLS. The GLS is often called as the S-Class of SUVs, and I can tell you, the new car redefines interior luxury. But you will be seeing
Thank you. Can we have, please, the GLS teaser? Thank you. of the car with these two gentlemen. Santosh and Lance, please look to your left. Let's give them some great photos as well. You can now look to your right to these guys. Now you can look to the center. Let's give them a thumbs up now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Santosh. Lance, I, was li I would like you to please stay back on stage. Over to you. Thank you. So welcome, media friends, and all those watching online. I'm very excited to now tell you about India's most successful large-sized luxury SUV, the new Mercedes-Benz GLS. I'm sure you'll agree it has a very imposing presence. The exterior design is true to its characteristics, powerful, dynamic, and elegant. The most eye-catching element is the prominent radiator grille. This has been inspired from our legendary G-Class. The intelligent multi-beam headlamps and tail lamps receive an upgrade with a new design. 
The new GLS will be offered with a petrol and diesel six-cylinder powertrain with the diesel re receiving a, an upgrade and it's now a 450D. Both variants come with 48 volt mild hybrid technology providing additional power of 15 kilowatts and torque of 200 newton meters. Customers can choose from five exterior colors, three of which are new, high tech silver, the vehicle you just saw. The new GLS welcomes you with a more exclusive ambience and further refinements in acoustics. The interior has taken inspiration from the Mercedes Maybach with manufacturer piano black trim inlays with contrasting silver flowing lines. The new GLS has laminated acoustic glass and enhanced sound insulation. This significantly reduces noise inside the cabin. In fact, I was just mentioning to Santosh when we drove in with all that loud music. Infrared and UV, and the UV blocks the harmful UV rays as well. The Thermotronic air conditioning actively provides a comfortable climate for all five of the distribution zones. The comfort The new GLS remains superior in technology. The award-winning MBUX system receives an upgrade, including wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For your convenience, wireless charging is now standard in both the front and the rear of the cabin. The new GLS comes with a high-end this class-leading 13-speaker system produces 590 watts together with Dolby Atmos. The new steering wheel is from the S-Class and is wrapped with fine Nappa leather. ...define the GLS into a class of its own. The extended centre armrest and console feature convenient stowage compartment, USB connections, wireless charging pad and removable MBUX tablet. The MBUX tablet allows you to monitor and control all features of the seven, uh, on a 7.4-inch touchscreen. The rear seats feature two 11.6 integrated broadcast independent content. The chauffeur package allows you to move the front seat from the rear. The exceptionally large sunroof extends all the way to the back of the third row and gives you a wonderful feeling of freedom and eeriness. The new 100 watt USB port allows you to charge your electronic devices, turning this luxurious space into a mobile office. There is nothing quite like the impressive size and presence of the GLS. This seven seater configuration is comfortable and flexible with easy access to the third row. By electronically folding down the second and third row, the boot space can be extended to an oppressive 2,400 litres. The GLS Active parking assist with 360 degree camera make it easier for you to find a park space. Knee airbags. Yes. Off road with four medic permanent all wheel drive. automatically to driving conditions. In summary, refinements to the new GLS take India's most successful large size with improved cabin ambience through significant noise reductions, further technology advancements, 
enhance rear and seat comfort and convenience and best-in-class safety. I'd now like to invite Santosh back onto the stage and you can tell us the price. Thanks, Lance. Thank you. So the new GLS, as uh, you all know, is the highest selling large size luxury SUV in India. We have sold more than 12,000 of these cars in the last years, ever since we launched this car in Indian market. So the question for us, including our engineers back in Stuttgart always is, how can you make the best even better? And that's where, as Lance explained, with a new GLS, we have tried to put the best foot forward, apart from a absolutely fresh engine with a 48 volt mild hybrid. A lot of work has gone into making the interior cabin a bit more luxurious, uh, inspired a lot from the Maybach, a lot of effort into making the cabin more silent. So, uh, uh, so I think it's a wonderful package. And now the price of this car. So it comes in two variants. Uh, the petrol, which is the GLS 450 formatic, will be priced at 1.32 crores. And the GLS 450 diesel, uh, which is again uh, in a formatic version, will come at 1.37 crores ex showroom across India. That's not all. I think price is one, but as we say, we take a pride to say we have the best, uh, you know, uh, residual values for our cars, and that's also driven by the low cost of ownership. I'm happy to announce that the service package for this GLS, you know, the petrol version, two years, unlimited kilometers, it's just 80. Uh, for the diesel version, it goes up to a, a lakh and 7,000. So that's, again, just goes on to show how aggressive we are, even when it comes to service side. Our commitment in India also continues. As my colleague Venkatesh mentioned, this year, we are committed to invest additional 200 crores, and I am happy to investment in India to 3,000 crores uh, in this year, and I think that Well, to sum it up, I only keep saying we invented the car, we continue to invent it again, uh, and for us, a car is not just to go from point A to point B. It's beyond that, which captures these emotions perfectly. A car is a car. It's a car. Follow me. Four tires and a steering wheel. That's it, right? But we've turned it around. It's not about A to B anymore, but A to me. A car is a car, it's a spa. Oh. Mm. Safety space! An office. Hi. Hello. A cinema. So automated. Yes, the definition of a car changes. But one thing stays the same. So one thing remains the same, it's a Mercedes-Benz defining class. We commit to define class in India as well. And all I can say to wrap up the presentation is thank you very much for your time. Th see you all at the Bharat Mobility Show on the 1st of Feb. We will come back with some more exciting announcements, some surprises there as well. So with this, I would like to conclude the press conference and over back to you, Nashpeet. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Santosh. Thank you. Now, with that, we have come to the end 
of our press conference and our launch event. I thank you all for being here today. Now, please do help yourself to a scrumptious lunch which is waiting for you guys outside. Uh, we will be moving the car, so do wait for about two, three minutes before you take pictures or experience the vehicles. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day.